Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Believe in the magic of tomorrow, and your spirits will be lifted on the wings of hope. That's a beauty. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 13, NASDAQ down 32, S&P's off six and a half, gold contract up nine dollars and thirty cents, traded one thousand one forty six an ounce. Silver up thirteen cents at fifteen dollars and eighty four cents an ounce. Silver folks took out its swing point from August with volume. Silver's making the run to the May swing point, which is seventeen eighty five. You're at fifteen eighty four. Gold, gold's up nine. Had price spread, had volume. We're at 14, 11.46. Gold's going to build a bit more cars to get over that to that August a swing of 11.69. I expect you're going to see that in the next few days. Platinum, platinum up 21 bucks, 9.35 an ounce. Copper up, up a penny at 2.35 a pound. Light sweet crude up two dollars and 44 cents, 48 dollars and 70 cents a barrel with volume, folks. All the commodities ran. Uh, it looks to me like these commodities are not only off the bottom, but this looks like an, an incredible run, actually, uh, after the commodities uh, basically have crashed since the 2011 uh, to 2015. Bottom line, is it looks like we're on the move and you're going to be on the move, and it's right across all the commodities, folks. King Dollar, well, no, 10-year uh, bond. 10-year bond rejected lower price out here today. Finished up eight ticks, 129.03. That's saying that the dollar, uh, that the bond, the 10 year bond, also is going to go for its highs once again. The euro, the 30 year bond, 30 year bond up 20 ticks after rejecting lower price with light of volume, 157.28. That's saying both the 10 and the 30 are going after its highs. King dollar, King dollar just can't handle higher price. King dollar down 710 ticks. We're at 95.53. Now, King Dollar didn't have a lot of volume on the way down. What I do expect you're going to see, though, you're going to see the August 24th level get tested. Uh, the high of that level is 95.250. Uh, right now, it's only 200 ticks from where we are. The low of that level is in the 92 area. You break that 92, and you're going to be at 85. The way commodities are trading, folks, it's telling me this dollar is going to go south. Uh, and well, we'll see where it shakes out. Euro. Euro is up 86 at 112, and the yen is trading at 120.20. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world. Now, in the world of the spy, what do we have? Bottom line, folks, is that couldn't handle higher price. Uh, you take a look at this baby. What you're going to see is that the spy right now Got to a price point today of 198.98. We did 103 million shares. Yesterday, you did 126 million shares. That level, folks, you're going into, first off, you're going into the downdraft that was created on the, the 18th of September that had 223 million shares. That being said, your larger downdraft is actually 346 million. So the way it goes, you get 346, you get 223, you get 126 from yesterday, and you got 103 from today. The NDX 100, the three Qs. What do you have in the NDX 100? Same type of setup. NDX 100 did 32 million shares today. You did 32 yesterday. You're going into 35 million, and you're going into 97 million. You just can't handle higher price. Uh, the IBB, the IBB was the culprit today inside the N, inside the net, the composite actually. Uh, IBB is trading at 301.91. It traded from 310 to 292 today. You did volume of 5.8 million, so you had an expansion with volume. You're still inside the bar from the 28th. The top of that bar is 308. The bottom of that bar is 285. What that's saying is that we're going to build cars to try to get into that 285.53 level, which is the high volume swing low that was created on the 28th. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Check it out, folks. Gold contract. 
There's 116,000 contracts. We're at 1146. You have two separate swings. You got 1156 is one swing. We're going to need a couple hundred thousand contracts there. Your larger swing is from the 24th of August. That's 1169.80. My take here is that gold actually was going to run up to this 1234 level because we had broken the downtrend on the 11th and 12th of August. You've built cars since then, and you've had continual follow through with price and volume. Silver market. The silver market did it, folks. The silver market, that, that, this is a, no doubt a psycho market, the silver market. Bottom line, though, volatility, yes, in spades, all of the above. Silver did it in spades, too. 55,000 contracts. Silver in three days is going from 1430 to $16. It blew away its swing point. Swing point we're talking about is the August 21st high. That high was $15.77. Took it with huge volume. Silver's on its way up to the price point of $17.85. You take a look at the SLV. The SLV is the iShares Silver Trust, and your confirmation is also right there. What does the iShares Silver Trust do? We went from a price point in three days from $13.81 up to $15.35. Your swing point had 4.8 million shares, 7.8 million shares. We did 11.1 million shares. This Silver Trust wants to run to the price point of $16.96. Bonds, the 10-year bond, 10-year bond is also screaming that the markets want lower price. 10-year um, bond got down to 128.22 today, had 1.1 1 .1 million shares traded, 1 million contracts. That was going into 1.9 million. It rejected lower price, had lighter volume. You closed out at 129.01, and that's bottom line, that closeout, folks, it was a closeout over the high of August 24th. This is an ABC structure on the way up. I had taken out the B point on the second, had the price spread, had the volume. Uh, this 10-year bond wants to run up to the price point of 131. The 30-year, same setup on the 30-year. What you have with the 30-year is this. 30-year got to 156.23, had light of volume. We did 200,000 contracts. That was going into 338. Rejected lower price, 30 is going to go after this 161.17. You know, we'll see whether we get another ABC structure on the way up. And good old King Dollar, King Dollar, folks, get the peanut butter and jelly out, get the cream cheese out, King Dollar's toast. King Dollar is down 700 ticks, 19,000 contracts, we're at 95.54, we'll be right back.